Hi, my name is Tashayla Openshaw. I am a tech support engineer here at Go Engineer, and today I will be going over how to fix missing cosmetic threads in parts, assemblies, and drawings. Let's start with the part level. The first thing we will want to do is check the whole wizard feature to make sure that we added cosmetic threads down at the options, and that is this icon right here. So once we've selected that and hit OK, now the cosmetic threads has been added to the whole wizard feature. From here, we are going to check the document properties of the part. To get there, you'll click the gear cog at the top of your screen. From there, you'll select the document properties tab and then on the left, select detailing. Here, there are a few options. We want to make sure both cosmetic threads and display annotations is selected. And if you want, we can add shaded cosmetic threads as well. That can also be done through the annotations folder in your feature manager tree. To get there, we'd right click on annotations, select details, and as you can see, cosmetic threads, shaded cosmetic threads, and display annotations are here as well. So that is the second check that we've done at this part level. The next thing to check would be the hide show options. Underneath view, hide show. We want to make sure hide all types is not on, and we also want to turn on all annotations. Once we select that, as you can see, the cosmetic threads now appear. Now let's move on to the assembly level. I'm going to go ahead and open my assembly. We're going to run through the same checks that we did at the part level. Make sure cosmetic threads is selected for the whole wizard feature. Go to the assembly document properties. Make sure cosmetic threads and display assembly annotations are selected. Now let's double check the hide show options. Right now, hide all types is turned on, which means our annotations will not be seen. So let's turn that off and go back into our hide show. We will need both top level annotations and component annotations selected in order for the cosmetic threads to be seen. Once we have checked all of those, if you scroll in here, you can see the cosmetic thread around the whole wizard feature. Now let's move on to drawings. By default, cosmetic threads will automatically appear for part views they will not for assembly views, like this left view here. So we will need to input it manually. So we're gonna make sure to select the view and then go to model items in the annotations tab. Make sure our source says entire model and we are going to select the cosmetic thread icon under annotations. Once we select that and accept it, now you can see the cosmetic threads in the assembly view. Those are all the basic steps to seeing cosmetic threads in parts, assemblies, and drawings. Happy designing!